Today we're going to take a look at implementing a custom format provider with RAD Image Editor. RAD Image Editor is part of the Tolerant RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. In this video we will demonstrate how to add JPEG encoding capabilities to your Silverlight application with the help of FJ Core, which is an open source JPEG encoding and decoding library. This shows how a format provider that supports both importing and exporting of JPEGs can be implemented and plugged into the existing RAD image editor architecture. Let's go ahead and jump inside of Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and we're working with the same project we worked with in the first part of this series. So one thing to note here is that underneath references we are using Telerik.windows.controls, Telerik.windows.controls.imageEditor, and Telerik.windows.controls.input. Those are the controls that are necessary to use the RAD Image Editor. And if we scroll up just a tad here, you'll see that we added our Telerik XML namespace. We also have tools which provides us some of the built-in tools that Telerik has to use with the image editor and then of course we have a commands XML namespace for our commands. Let's go ahead now and let's run this application and just show you what it is out of the box and if we click on open you'll notice that down here at the bottom we have the option to select PNG, bitmap, or JPEG. So let's just go ahead and we'll select our PNG image here. But if we try to save the image, you may notice that we only have PNG or bitmap. Well, we're going to add our own custom provider here, and it's going to be for JPEG support. So we'll go ahead and hit cancel here, and go ahead and close out of our browser window. So we're going to get a little bit of help by using FJ Core, which is a built-in open source JPEG encoding and decoding library. So I'm going to go to my references and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go add reference and then I'm just going to select a recently used fjcore.dll. So if you're wondering where to get this DLL, this will be included in my project, but you can also grab it by going to code.google.com forward slash p forward slash fjcore and inside of the source you can download the source and compile it. So we'll go ahead and we'll select fjcore.dll. Now that DLL has been added to our project and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new class. So I'm just going to simply right click add class and I'm just going to name this custom JPEG format provider and I'm going to hit add. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do to this class is I'm going to need to come out here and I'm actually going to need to implement iImage format provider and we've just added our using statement to it as well. We can go ahead and we can add the stubs for the required members. And after we do so, I'm just going to scroll back up to the top and I'm going to paste in a couple of variables here. So I've just pasted in a private static read-only string, which is the supported extensions, which this will show up in our dialog box, dot jpg and dot jpeg and then I'm going to use the JPEG format provider which it's already supported and then I'm going to add an int here for the quality. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a constructor here of our custom JPEG format provider and this dot internal JPEG format provider equals a new JPEG format provider and then I've set the quality to 80. That's going to be the quality of the image. Of course you could create your own buttons and toggle switches if you wanted your user to be able to set this value. Next item that I'm going to need to paste in is actually going to be our encode method. So I'm just going to paste in our method. So after I've dropped in my encode method here you'll see that it's taking in a writable bitmap and a stream. At the beginning here, it's setting the width and the height with whatever the bitmap dot pixel width and pixel height is. This next chunk of code here all has to deal with the raster 
that's found in our fluxjpg.core. So in our fluxjpg.core.image, we're basically defining a new image, and it's going to be equal to a new fluxjpg.core.image, new color model, color space of RGB, and then the raster. Finally, the JPEG encoder that's built into Flux JPEG gives that we are passing it a new JPEG encoder of an image, the quality of the image, and then finally the stream, and then just an encoder.encode. So now we need to set our imports. So I'm just going to replace those with these two. So we have a rad bitmap and this is just going to return a this.internaljpeg format provider dot import and then the bytes and then we have our rad import stream that's passing in a stream and then we're just going to return our stream now for exporting which is right here what we're going to do is of course our byte just like we were doing before but we're going to use a memory stream with a this.encode image.bitmap passing it the stream and then the stream to array and then our void export which this is passing in a rad bitmap and then a stream and then a this.encode so finally we get to our file description and for file description we're just going to return jpeg files and this is just going to show in our dialog box and for our supported extensions here this is simply going to return the supported extensions that we defined right here and the last two properties to set is can import and can export and both of these we're just going to set those to true so now that we have our custom jpeg format provider in place the only other thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to register that format provider. So we're going to go back to our main page.xaml and underneath the initialize component, we're just going to paste in our image format provider manager. Then all we're going to need to do from there is to register the format provider by calling a new custom JPEG format provider. So we can go ahead now and we can run our application and once our application loads I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click open I'm going to select the same image that we were always using and one of the things to note is that the JPEG format was already provided for our open but in our previous sample it wasn't provided for close but now it should be there so if we hit save we see we have PNG bitmap and then JPEG so we'll just go ahead and we'll type in rad image editor JPEG and we'll let it add the extension for us automatically and then hit save. So if we navigate over to our temp directory we will see our rad image editor dot JPEG has been created for us. So once again, thank you for watching, and please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos, and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements.